Hi there, today let's uncover the hidden dangers of COVID-19 for people with pre-existing conditions. These underlying diseases can significantly impact how the body handles infections, and here's why. First up, a weakened immune system. Chronic illnesses like diabetes or kidney disease can reduce the immune response, making it harder for the body to fight off viruses. If you have an autoimmune disease, things can get even worse as your immune system might attack your own cells, making it harder to fend off COVID-19. Next, let's talk about the direct impact of underlying diseases. Respiratory diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or asthma, can make COVID-19 more severe. If your lungs are already impaired, the virus can lead to serious complications like pneumonia, making it hard to breathe and even life-threatening. Cardiovascular diseases are also a major concern. COVID-19 can put extra stress on the heart, leading to complications like heart failure. For those with existing cardiovascular issues, the impact on blood circulation can be severe. Diabetes is another critical factor. High blood sugar levels can impair immune cells, weakening the body's defense against infections. This makes recovery more complicated and treatment more difficult. Aging is closely linked to a decline in immune function. Older adults often have multiple underlying conditions, increasing the risk of severe COVID-19 infection. People with underlying diseases are also more prone to complications like pneumonia, heart failure, and kidney damage. Severe COVID-19 cases often require intensive care, which reduces recovery chances. Mental and social factors play a role too. The stress and anxiety about COVID-19 can further weaken the immune system, creating a vicious cycle. Limited access to healthcare can prevent regular checkups and preventive measures, increasing the risk of infection. In conclusion, if you have an underlying medical condition, you're at higher risk of severe COVID-19 infection. Take thorough preventive measures like vaccination, wearing a face mask, and frequent hand washing. Stay in close consultation with medical staff and continuously monitor your health. Stay safe.